Carlson. A great FPS game that I have been waiting for about 3 years to come out. As we can see from the videos, the game has a great dynamic, especially the fact that the game has a fast flow fascinated me. The game is being developed by Danny, a content producer that I love very much. And Danny last posted a video one year ago. You see, nobody knows what happens to the Danny and Carlson project. I think Danny is working on a big game project. I hope he will continue posting videos with new projects as soon as possible. Possible. Anyway, in this video, we are going to make our own Carlson using Unity. First of all, we will create an FPS mechanic and make a parkour game. The purpose of the game in this video is purely for entertainment and we will not generate any income. So, I will try to replicate Danny's game. As you can see, we are going to make a fake Carlson game and it will be very enjoyable. I have been watching Danny since I first started developing games and I hope he sees this video. Hello everyone, I am Joseph. I am here with a new video. Today we will make a 3D FPS game and it will be a lot of fun. If you want to support me before starting the video, I ask you to subscribe to my channel for more content and like the video. I am a new channel and I need your support. Also don't forget to write your ideas in the comments. Now if you are ready, let's do it. First of all, let's create a ground and add the grid box prototype textures that I mostly used our game. I want our character to be in capsule form, so I added an object like this. Now we need the four different C sharp scripts and these will form the basis of our game. First one, it should provide the movement mechanics of our character. Second one, it should make our character walk on the wall. Third one, must make the camera move with character. Fourth one, the angle of the camera should change changed with the mouse direction. It would take a long time to prepare them from the beginning. With some research, I found that all of these files are available on the net. I edited the codes I found and made them ready for use. Thus, the movement mechanics of our character are ready. In the next step, I made some adjustment to the scene. I added a wall to the scene. Then I made some edits to the code to improve the walking on the wall mechanic. I also created various objects inside the character. As a result, our FPS mechanic was formed and these game mechanics are quite similar to Carlson's. We walk, we jump and we can walk on the jump on the wall. Afterwards, I saw that Carlson had a crosshair and I immediately added it to my game. Crosshairs are quite simple to make. I will not do an animation for crosshair for now. I downloaded the texture and skybox at the beginning of the video. I am adding them to the game now, but I didn't like the text on the textures and I added all the textures textures with photoshop. After doing all this, our game became even more like Danny's game. Like Carlson, I want the player to advance to a shiny object at the end of the level. We are making some adjustments and additions for this. So I put a cube and the cube moves up and down. But then I didn't like it and I found Danny's milk model on Sketchfab. This milk model is also available in Carlson. I added the milk model to the game and made some animations. Then when we touch this milk, I want the game to start again. I did this with a few simple lines of code. I created a simple map and I am going to make a level on this map. Now we have the cross here and there should be lava. I created a rectangle to make this lava and after adding the HDR it looked much better. It might be cool to make a particle effect for lava and again I made this effect using similar HDR materials. As a result the lava at the bottom turned out to be quite beautiful. When we touch the lava the game starts again. After making the lava, I made some adjustment to the map, making the map even bigger. Adding obstacles like in ninja competitions. I want to have an obstacles at the beginning of the game, so I will add a spinning wheel. I added an animation for movement of the wheel. When I touch this wheel, the game starts again as if I had touched the lava. After doing all that, this is how our stolen Carson game turned out. The real Carson has many different features, but today I want to do certain things. As a result, I can create my own maps and play as I want. It's fun to make and play this kind of FPS game. I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, don't forget to tag Danny in this video. I am waiting for you to write your ideas in the comments. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. See you in the next videos.